So I'm about to do the uh, probably the third layer of the the background. So this is a work where the last couple of works I've been transitioning away from my uh, solid black background, which I've been doing for uh, you know for quite a long time, a number of years really, um, and I'm just lightening the tone a little bit but also bringing in a bit of variance so there's some sort of subtle transitions in the background and they help me highlight contrast or or reduce contrast um, to help sort of you know lead the eye and focus around the work and so i blocked in uh, the black background i've already done uh, one layer over it. And so I'm still trying to figure out the, the tonal balance. Um, I'm gonna start putting some paint down uh, while I'm talking. So I've got my three uh, three tones here. Um, they're mixed with a glazing medium so that they're a bit transparent. So they'll show the, the lace through. That's gonna help me get some nice soft transitions with the acrylic. Uh, as I go, I did put a post on my Instagram showing how I mix uh, those paints. Um, but basically this is my reference image that I'll be using for the urchin and you can see obviously there's a focus point here and I'd like there to be some focus on the left um, but I don't want to create too sharp a contrast over here to, to draw away because this is actually going to be a soft edge so I want to achieve something dark down here something sort of medium over here and a bit of lightness over here to reduce the contrast so it's going to be something sort of around um, around that and I don't I don't really know quite how that's gonna work um, and I still won't know until really as, as the work comes along it's something that um, I've not been trying to sort of overthink um, as much as I do the actual um, the actual piece and, and let it and let it progress um, you know as as the piece uh, progresses um, and so I'll still do another couple of layers after this each layer really um, is just it's just finding that finding that balance and and mixing those tones you can see this is actually quite thin so um, it actually looks a bit um, scrappy at the moment my underpaint is a different um, might need that dark one to be a bit darker. I reckon on the next layer um, I'll mix that darker tone a bit darker because um, I won't really want it this dark but if it is darker I can always mix it with the lighter paint but it's nice to have it's nice to have the options and I sort of mix this this is a, a sort of um, three tones that I mix just for the background um, so I don't really want to mix more than the than the three. So it feels like it'll keep this same sort of tone uh, around the left here. So I'm not going, I'm not going from dark to light and back to dark too quickly. At this age, as I'm sort of um, over my artworks developing this this background and how it fits in within my work, um, 
I'm obviously taking it sort of slow and developing the process. So I imagine that over the next half a dozen works, I'll really find a, um, a better idea of what I really want um, in the background and how, how light I go. I'm actually feeling like, especially with the urchins, I'm actually feeling like I'll probably go um, quite a bit lighter. And then I'm hoping really, I mean, that's got, you know, there's a, a sort of a commercial um, I definitely want this grey to be darker. Um, it is always hard to tell because you've got that relative contrast to the tones that are already down and because I start with a because I start with a black just blocking all the tones you put over seem really light and it's not until you um, put in you know, put in the tones on the subject that it really starts to come together and that's why I don't um, sort of try and figure it out too much too early. But I am going to start transitioning lighter up this side. Um, and so really with the layers, what I'll do is as I'm, when I block in um, the subject, that's when I'll use my subject paint range and my background paint range and I'll wet blend those two as I do a couple of layers and that will help me soften that edge round. Um, and that'll give me a bit of a border to protect the artwork. I spend a lot of time on the artwork and I like the background to be really soft. And you can tell as I'm working, you can see that I've gone over it. So in terms of workflow with the background, I don't wanna to get too refined on the background because I'll almost definitely, as I'm painting, splash something and if this is layered up over five or six layers that's a really um, sort of layered tone with a lot of complexity in it and I can't just fix that with one dab of uh, flat paint really so I try and develop the background as it goes so as I'm as I'm doing the subject as I'm painting the subject I'll refine this bit as I start painting over here I'm unlikely to splash something at the top and then once I've painted the bottom then I can refine this section and as I move over you know kind of do the same and so the background will really fine up as it goes and so that kind of you know is why it is why it develops um, with the background but so what I'm thinking with the urchins is I go even lighter and as I was saying that sort of all right this is my lightest tone that sort of has a a bit of a commercial aspect to it like I'm not changing the work that I do um, but obviously the works that I was doing before are quite, the background's quite heavy and it is a big solid black and I love that visual and I love that appearance. Um, but I think it definitely does affect the marketability of my work and, you know, I don't, I don't mind talking about that kind of stuff and I certainly don't feel like I'm selling out in any way. I always do the work that I want to do and paint the way that I want to paint, but I'm more than happy to make choices within that range of what I want to do that are more in keeping with sort of, you know, the commercial value of, of the work because at the end of the day if I don't sell work I can't produce work um, but so I think I might go quite quite light with the urchins um, even maybe get into the stage where this lighter tone I'm using here might be uh, might be the, the sort of the mid-tone of that um, of that range um, and then what'll happen is when I do the dark shadows on the urchin, which this one isn't really heavy on the dark shadows, but when I do those blacks, those blacks are also gonna contrast against the background as are the whites, and I'm hoping that's gonna lift it off the page even more. And the only thing really that I'll be sacrificing in that is when I have those dark shadows, in my previous works, if you go onto my website 
and look at my previous works. Um, the only thing that I'll be sacrificing is when I have a dark shadow in the corner and a really dark shadow on the urchin that that dark shadow gets to creep into the urchin and, and erase the sort of edge, the outline of the urchin. And I really love that element, that, that sort of dynamic is really visually pleasing to me. Um, so this is not ne necessarily a direction that I'll stick with um, forever because there are, um, you know, pluses and minuses to that, that sort of creative uh, process. Um, but with the feathers that I paint, because the feathers don't have as much contrast in them, I do them a lot brighter. I imagine that um, I'll be creating a slightly different background tone with the feathers, probably more like this tone here, um, because there won't be any darks and so I don't want to go too light with the background because the whole feather's light and then it will sort of lose a bit of contrast and a bit of impact. So that's kind of, you know, kind of there and that'll that'll come along as the as the layers uh, go in. Uh, thanks heaps for watching.